Good morning, everybody. Banks continue to get crushed this morning along with my internet. Let's go, let's trade. Okay, so the trade this morning was here on coin. You can see it starting to alert here on the scanner just to my right. And I'm watching it from where it kind of opened up uh, right at the uh, conclusion of pre market this morning. Thinking it's getting a nice move. It's up off of 51. So it's up three points in the last three minutes. I decided to go ahead and get short 50 shares here, 54.12. Only 50 shares because this one still has huge uh, margin restrictions on it in Interactive Brokers. So that's the reason why such a small position, unfortunately, here on coin this time. But at least I know that now. And so I shouldn't run into any issues. But I do run into an issue here. If you look at the level two, all of a sudden the data has stopped. I've got nothing happening here. My internet has been going in and out all morning. Thankfully, this was a short little hiccup there, but definitely kind of made me apprehensive throughout the rest of the day when you see stuff like that. I did completely lose connection a few times as well throughout the day, so that's super annoying and frustrating. Breezeline, I hate you. You are the worst company, worse than Enron. You can't convince me otherwise. So anyways, I'm looking for this to move up towards 55 here, which is kind of right at that pre-market spot. And still a really nice move here. So as it does make that move up towards 55, I put in another 50 shares here. Now I have 100 shares short at an average of 54.47. So ideally, I would like this thing back down towards 52. But because of the internet, because it is coin, I'm not going to get too greedy with this one. I'm just going to take what I can get if I can get it. And in this case, I'm like, okay, let's at least get it under both entries. Ideally, get it a nice break of 54, but we'll see what it does once it comes down towards that $54 range, because that certainly could be a bounce point for it if this is in fact going to be a move higher throughout the rest of the morning. So in here with that 100 share short, average of 54.47, I'm just gonna wait and see what it does. Gonna get an order ready down around 54.10, just in case it does come down through there and start to bounce off 54, but 54.10 is then still below both entries. So that's kind of the thinking there on the 5410 uh, order that I'm going to end up putting into my entry box here. You can see me adjusting it right there. So it's coming down here into the 5420s. Would love to see a break of 54. I'm not going to put the order out. I'm going to wait. You can see it come down, hit 5410. It bounces a little bit, comes down, hits 5410, bounces a little bit. I'm like, all right, if we go under, I'm just going to take it. So it goes under. I click the button. I get the fill there at 5410. Came down a few more cents after this, but then it pretty much did bounce up and continue on throughout the rest of the morning. So ended up being a decent cover there for a small gain of 37.50 on coin. And that was unfortunately the end of my day. Lost the internet a few more times. Um, not still not the market conditions that I really like or want. So gonna move on, head to the gym, and get on with my day. Hopefully you guys had a great trading day. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.